Are you serious? That shit look like maple syrup. It's coming out in like chunks, bruh. This shit ain't been changed out since 1992. And this is a 94. Yo, what's snapping zombies? You're watching Nacho Slacker. And today I'm giving you episode two of the Big Blue Beater series. I figured I'd do a quick introduction to these few clips of all the fluids that changed when I first got this baby. I don't explain a whole bunch of stuff in the videos, so I figured I'd just tell you now or in between. Basically, with the oil change, the oil, you'll see what the oil looks like right now. This is the oil filter I got off. Yeah. Yo, this shit ain't been changed since this fucking vehicle was fucking thought of. Are you serious? That shit look like maple syrup. It's coming out in like chunks, bruh. This shit ain't been changed out since 1992. And this is a 94. That's where the filter goes. Right up there. That's where the drain plug goes. This is where the old oil goes. And the chunks that come along with it, apparently. I got a bunch of plastic down here because I didn't know how dirty it was going to get. And I'm renting this house and I didn't want to fuck the driveway up. Got me some rags. Don't worry. I'll be all right. Uh, this truck, though, not so sure. It's not looking so great for this truck. I didn't pay very much money for this truck, but it doesn't look like it's going to be uh, worth the effort to fix it and drive it as a work truck, apparently. Shit. I can't even get it out of fucking park when it's warmed up, so there's also that. Oh, yeah. I just seen this just now. I don't know what the fuck. What's even going on yeah, under here? I'm leaking uh, coolant. It's coming from there, leaking right there. I mean, it's been leaking since I put on these ramps, but I mean, that's serious, dude. That is not good. I thought my only problem was the transmission and now I'm looking into a whole bunch of other issues. So as you can see, the oil hadn't been changed in a long time and it looks pretty rough. Super duper thick, like maple syrup. But I put new oil in it, put some uh, sea foam treatment in it, ran it through there. It's got a new filter, everything, and it's, it, you know, it runs good. It's a good engine. So there's nothing that scared me there after that. Of course, at first sight, that's pretty sketchy. But the number one problem, if you watched my last video, was the transmission. It was slipping. So I was dreading actually dropping that transmission pan and seeing what was in there. And for a good reason, as you'll see in this clip right here. Um, it don't look good, so. Yeah. Check that out in the sunlight. <laughs> look at that. Uh, if this is just metallic buildup, that's not good. Um, no, all this down here. It's definitely metal. I don't know if you can see that. It's, got, it's like glistening. It's got a good shine to it. Looks real milky. Uh, I don't even know what this shit is. It feels like some kind of uh, grease or something that they may have, somebody might have added to the transmission to get it to stop slipping. But yeah, this is why it was slipping. It, it's just a bunch of metallic flakes. If you can make a line, draw your name in it, that ain't good. Transmission's bad. So long story short, this don't look good for the old beater Chevy. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. At this point, I'm I'm kind of fed up with it because I already pulled the bumper off right here. That's the one that was just way too far gone. It was all bent up, probably from a rear end collision or something like that. I mean, the outside looks really good. The paint looks good and stuff. There's rust uh, everywhere. I mean, on the frame it's bad, but uh, it might not be worth keeping. So. 
guess we can just see what happens. I don't know. Look at that stuff, though. It's pretty cool looking if you get the right angle on it. It just kind of like glistens. Yeah. I'm gonna clean this up and I'm to be honest with you, I'm just gonna put it all back together and put some Lucas fix on it or something. Put it all in there, put the tranny fluid back in, see if that does anything. I'm 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 almost positive it won't, but till then we'll find out I guess. So as you can see, I don't feel very confident over these past two clips and how this truck's gonna run. But so far, so good. I put new transmission fluid in it and I also put some Luca fit. I also put some Lucas Fix, transmission fix, additive into the transmission after that. And believe it or not, it's not slipping anymore. When I put it in reverse, it has a really weird clunk, but it still works. Every gear shifts fine. It shifts smooth. So judging off of that, I think that's a pretty good deal. All I did was drop the pan, change the transmission filter, and put new transmission fluid in it. But there's also the question of why it was milky, what was all inside there, and why in the hell is it not slipping now? Of course, these are all questions that we can't answer until later. So stay tuned and make sure that you don't listen to all the people that say don't change your transmission fluid if it ain't been changed since day one obviously i proved that wrong because the transmission was slipping when it was warmed up and now it's not slipping at all so bam debunked so everybody can hate on me in my comments because i dropped the transmission pan changed all the fluid i did not flush it yet so i'm still trying to wait and see what the problem really is because if it comes back then we already know something else is going to go wrong but as of right now it's still shifting or it is shifting now present tense and we're going to see how it goes as you know i'm going to drive it to work and do stuff like that but I also flushed the radiator, put new radiator fluid in, or coolant, and I changed the thermostat and found out my water pump was bad. So that's why there was coolant leaking everywhere. It was my water pump was leaking out of the weep holes. So I had to go get a new water pump and changed it, but weirdly enough, it only took about 30 minutes to do it. So on these trucks, it's really easy to change your water pump. So if you're gonna change any, or do a radiator flush or change any fluid or anything, you might as well just put a new water pump in it if it has over 100,000 miles. Even if it's not acting up, put a new one in. It's gonna save you time later because if you change the thermostat, flush in your fluid which you're supposed to you're gonna have to change your thermostat again if your water pump goes bad in like 10,000 miles no one wants to do that it's just redoing work over and over again that you've already done so check out the clip of me changing the radiator fluid or coolant and see how I do it see what it looks like when I drain it and then you guys be the judge oh yeah that's what came out of my radiator dude it's just the first drain there's lots of fluid in there, so it's like, keep in mind, that's just still diluted by the garden hose. So what it was originally was dirtier than that. So I found out that bad boy went bad last night. It was spewing out that weep hole right there. It was weeping. It was definitely not happy with me. But that's the water pump. So I went and got a new one. And do that thing in now. Got some RTV sealing on the gaskets. Um, and this thing looks freaking awesome. I'm my easy. But now I'm just putting everything together. Alright, since I'm doing a water pump, flushing everything out, I took the thermostat out. And I just keep running some water through there until it's going to come out clear. I'm letting it cool off right now before I drain it again. So that's my old thermostat right there. Look at that. That's juicy. So as you can see, the engine coolant was looking ugly. Just as bad as all the other fluids in this truck. It's an old truck. I don't know how long it's been since it's been maintenanced. 
but obviously it's been a long time. I'm glad I got to do all these things to it and see what was inside of it. But as of right now, it's running. It's running good. Um, drove it around. I'm gonna drive it to work, see if it continues to run good. And we're gonna get some more videos on it. We're gonna do some more stuff and hopefully continue to make this series until this thing looks a lot better than it looks now and performs better than it does now. So stay tuned, Nacho Slacker, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want me to do anything specific to this truck or let me know if you have any questions on what I've done or how to do anything and I'll try to give you, to the best of my knowledge, um, a tutorial or uh, some kind of description of how to do it or what to do. And whatever questions I can answer, um, I'm more than happy to. This is the whole reason for this channel, is to help you guys out and hopefully get you out of a rut if you may be in one. But stay tuned, episode three will be coming soon. Love y'all, Nacho Slacker out.